It is a movie worth dissecting. I mean, I don't even know if we have enough time before they kick us out. I cried at the end of the movie! I cried tears for my lost childhood at the end of this movie! Somehow I will end up talking about this movie in therapy! What is going on? I am shocked. I am speechless. And I'm going to bring out another defender of this film. A person who said, this is her favorite movie. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miss June Diane Rapio. How are you, June? Hi, Paul. How are you? Good, thank you. June, you were the reason that we have not done this movie earlier. I spoke about it to you about a year and a half ago. I said, I think we're going to do Drop Dead Fred. And you go, oh, how could you? <laughs> the movie's perfect. It's my favorite movie. I, I wanted to recuse myself from tonight's podcast taping because this is truly one of my favorite motion pictures. And I want to spend some time once we introduce our guests talking about what this movie means to me. What it now means to me. <laughs> what it now means to Jason. Like, I feel like I have finally become a woman. I saw this movie when I was 11 years old. This movie is why I wanted to pursue a career in acting. That's true. Without this film, you would not have seen me in NBC's Animal Practice. Um, Other guest star roles I've done. Do you a, want a list a them starting with, with under fives and then gr- there was gr- I did one episode of a show called Free Agents okay. starring Catherine Hahn. Great show. Hank and Azaria. Hank Azaria. Azaria. My episode did not air. Okay. Huh. Um, I was in a movie called Going the Distance. Drew with Barrymore. Drew Barrymore Justin and Justin Long. Long at a small None of role. this. None of this would, would have happened. Happen. If not for Drop Dead Fred. Wow. Big words, big words.